What a crazy season for Dortmund. Yusufa Mukoko, he's rewriting history. Marked by emotions. A something defeat for Borussia Dortmund on home turf. A change of coach. Being coach of it is a dream come true. And a run-in like the Bundesliga seldom witnessed before. Erling Haaland, can he shoot? Oh, you bet he can! The hero's journey of the black and yellow young guns in 2020 to 21. Well, the Bundesliga is back in Dortmund. It's the battle of the Borussias at Signal Iduna Park. Dortmund had big plans for the new season, and it certainly began well. Emre Can, it's in for Reina. Bellingham, and now Gio Reina with a sight of goal! And Borussia Dortmund are up and running in the Bundesliga, and it's Gio Reina's first ever goal in the Bundesliga. It's Erling Haaland's first ever penalty in the Bundesliga. Can he keep his cool against Jan Zoma? Yes, he can! Erling Haaland doubles Dortmund's lead. His first goal of the campaign. Jade Sancho will set off, and he's got pace, and he's got pass lack in support, and Erling Haaland! It's Erling Haaland at the double, and it was created by the pace and wizardry of Jaden Sancho. This was followed by an almost perfect start to the season with five wins from their first six games. Then on match day seven, De Classica, Dortmund versus Bayern, and the battle for top spot in the table. Welcome to Signal Iduna Park. Borussia Dortmund against Bayern München. This is Der Klassiker. Dortmund's got off to a blistering start. Guerrero's got inside. Cut back, Royce. Goal, Marco Royce. Beautifully performed. And an instinctive flick of the foot from Captain Fantastic Marco Royce. But in the end, the record champions turned around the standout fixture, which fully lived up to its billing. But one man didn't seem to like it at all. Erling Haaland, the Norwegian already on six goals after seven match days, with an absolute cracker against Hertha. Now Chen into the area and Haaland, and there's the equaliser. His first away from home this season. Haaland, the flag has stayed down. It's Erling Haaland at the double for Borussia Dortmund. A lightning start to the second half from Borussia Dortmund and Erling Haaland. Haaland, oh, look at the pace of Erling Haaland to complete his hat-trick! Oh, he makes it look so simple. He's a force of nature, a born goal-scorer. Erling Haaland! It's four for Haaland, five for Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund seemingly back on track, but a downturn was to follow. Dortmund's young guns picked up just one point from their next three Bundesliga games with a bad setback against Stuttgart. Gonzalez again, he's so quick, he's so hard to stop. In front of goal, deadly. It is a fabulous five for Stuttgart. That is how it finishes. A something defeat for Borussia Dortmund on home turf. We have no Entschuldigung. It was catastrophe. It was to be his last game as Dortmund coach. Lucien Favre had to go. The new man came from the youth academy, Edin Terzic. It ging dann auf einmal sehr sehr schnell. Man musste sich ganz viele neue Gedanken machen, sowohl organisatorisch als auch inhaltlich. 38-year-old Terzic, born and bred in Dortmund, was Champions League winner and Dortmund legend Lars Ricken's best man. He knew the club and had already coached various Dortmund youth teams. Once a fan in the Sudkurve, he was now head coach at the club he loved. It was the start of a new chapter. Well, Terzic said in his first press conference that he's a product of this club and being coach of it is a dream come true. And Borussia Dortmund showed the right reaction in the next match against Bremen. The captain, Marco Royce. And it's saved by Pavlenka, but Royce will get there. And Dortmund lead once more. Edin Terzic will start to have the desired impact in Dortmund. Of course, it's very special for me as a, let's say, as a local and as a fan. But um, it also means a big responsibility.
Match day 13, the last in 2020 and Christmas time in the Bundesliga. Dortmund suffered a 2-1 defeat to Union Berlin, but Terzic brought on Yusufa Mukoko and he achieved something historic. It's in for Mukoko! Yusufa Mukoko! He's rewriting history! The youngest ever goal scorer in Bundesliga history! Of course, we are happy with him and with his performance. Dortmund ended 2020 in fifth place, which wouldn't be enough for the Champions League. Following the short winter break, the new year began in positive fashion, with two wins in two games against direct rivals Wolfsburg and Leipzig. Jaden Sancho to score! No mistakes this time! Jaden Sancho breaks that duck for the season with skill, precision and timing. Big boost for Dortmund ahead of that game next weekend away at Leipzig. That's going to be a massive one. And a certain Jaden Sancho back on form. Sancho makes no mistake and the scoring has begun in the Red Bull Arena. Sancho back post, 2-0. It's Erling Haaland. What a slick move again from Dortmund. Two goals and two assists to start the year for the England star. The world around Dortmund's young guns with new conductor Terzic appeared to be back in order. But what was supposed to be a breakthrough in the battle for the top spots turned into an on and off affair with repeated setbacks. Welcome to what could shockingly be the last Revere derby for a while. The 98th Revere derby, the mother of all derbies. Once again, thanks to an Erling Haaland brace, Dortmund were clear winners in the derby. Haaland, Haaland's volley is beautiful beyond compare. What a super strike from Erling Haaland. This boy has got whatever it is, but he's got it in bucket loads. Bellingham, that's four, and it's Haaland's. Of course, it's Erling Haaland. Match day 27 saw Dortmund play Eintracht Frankfurt in the first of a number of cup final type matches in pursuit of a Champions League place. Borussia were four points adrift of fourth place under severe pressure and in urgent need of a win. The cross deep and the header is looping here and it's in. Yeah, Nico Schultz's own goal. An early setback here for Dortmund's top four push and for Frankfurt, full steam ahead in their race for the Champions League. The cross for Andre Silva, who tucks it away. And with four to play, it is Frankfurt who lead by two goals to one. And the whistle sounds, and Frankfurt win here for the first time since 2010, and now goes seven points clear. And Dortmund now are playing catch up big time in the race for the Champions League. Of course, the chances are now a bit smaller, but it's still possible. It's seven points, seven games left. So we're going to fight uh, for each and every point and we're going to see uh, uh, what we're going to get in the end of the season. Terzic, the Dortmund fan who'd become head coach of the talented young team, faced a virtually insoluble task. But what happened next had the feel of a Hollywood movie. This is Ansgar Knauf. Needs to lay it off. We'll get a shot away. Oh, what a goal! Ansgar Knauf scores his first Bundesliga goal, and it is an absolute corker. Borussia had just about been written off, but suddenly set off on a winning run. They did it with a certain Marco Royce, who would score five goals in the last seven games of the season. They bundle it home, and it'll count as a goal. Haaland won't be pleased that he missed it, but he will be pleased that his captain didn't. A win against Union Berlin. Another against Wolfsburg. Now Haaland getting in behind Brooks. Erling Haaland! Just what Borussia Dortmund wanted. Just what they needed. And look at this, Erling Haaland stretches his legs and Haaland for the second time today. Well, he can take a bow and what a crucial goal that could be in the Champions League equation. Followed up with yet another against Leipzig. Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho, oh, lovely goal. Dortmund's individual brilliance makes the difference. This Swiss Jaden Sancho's time. This is turning into Jaden Sancho's year.
Oh, outrageous. Sanchez continued his run. If Guerrero can find him, it's Sancho! He's done it for Dortmund! Just a month ago, the Champions League seemed a distant dream. It's rapidly turning back into reality for Borussia Dortmund. And that's just what it means to Erling Haaland and the club as a whole. Dortmund are hitting form at the right time. They were good value in the end for their 3-2 victory, thanks to Jaden Sancho's double. Things were going well for the black and yellows, and not just in the Bundesliga. The DFB Cup final, Leipzig again, another triumph. Jaden Sancho is one of the hottest properties in Germany right now. Erling Haaland, those long legs, can he get into the box? Can he shoot? Oh, you bet he can! This is the chance for three. Oh, he squared it to Sancho. Sancho scores. Erling Haaland to score. Borussia Dortmund on cloud nine. What a season. But the perfect comeback story wasn't yet over. Mission accomplished for Mainz. They've avoided relegation with room to spare after one of the most remarkable comebacks in the league's history. Now they face a Dortmund side that's just one win away from a top four finish. In the most important league game of the season, captain Marco Royce again led from the front. And they're backing off Sancho, and there's number two. And what a special week it's turning out to be for Marco Royce. It's a lovely Dortmund goal. Borussia Dortmund lifted a golden trophy and have now secured a golden ticket to the Champions League. It's Dortmund to celebrate tonight. A top four spot is theirs. We're really happy, obviously, to be playing in the, the best competition in the world next year. And I think a lot of people wrote us off. We were a long way away from the fourth position, but to secure it now with one game to spare is a big relief. It's amazing and now I just hope to, to, to relax a bit uh, on, on the way back to Dortmund. But now we are really delighted and happy. Borussia Dortmund and the Champions League, mission accomplished. The grand finale was still to come. We're given away here to Erling Haaland, away from Radetzky. Erling Haaland was never ever going to pass up that kind of chance, was he? 27 goals in his Bundesliga season. But Dortmund's win was not the main story. Careers have began together, will finish together. Lars Bender on for twin brother Sven. And Lars will take this penalty. His first game since January. Lars Bender scores. A consolation, what a story. Even Roman Verke says well done. And that's it. That'll do. The season's curtain comes down at Zignal Aduna Park. A day where I think all parties end up happy. Borussia Dortmund winners here on the last match day by three goals to one. The Bender twins ended their careers alongside Manuel Grafer, one of the Bundesliga's best referees. And last but not least, Lukas Piszczek left Dortmund after 11 years. Two Meister Charlotte, three DFB Cups, and he's captain today as he bids Borussia Dortmund a fond farewell. What a season for Dortmund with an ultimately satisfactory conclusion. After a bumpy campaign, Borussia qualified for the Champions League and won the DFB Cup. The young guns led by Edin Terzic were by and large a joy to watch. What was your favourite moment of the campaign? And what do you think Dortmund can achieve next season? Let us know in the comments.